Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to go ahead and create your own custom recipes. Now for this, we are just gonna be doing it for regular items, and we're not gonna be going ahead and making a really cool custom item for the crafting. But if you wanna go ahead and do that, uh, feel free. So we are gonna just do this inside of our main class because we don't really need another class to register this, but if you wanna keep your project really organized or if this is going to be integrated into a project that already exists, I would recommend making a class separate for custom recipes. But first things first is we go ahead, we need to go ahead and create the item that we want to create the custom item or custom recipe for. So we are just gonna go ahead and create a new item stack and it's just going to be for an apple because an apple you can't craft as far as I know. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a namespaced key and we'll call this apple key. And then we just want to go ahead and say new namespace key this because we're in our main class. But if you're not inside of your main class, you want to go ahead and make sure that says plugin or whatever the variable name is that represents your main class. And then for here, we just want to go ahead and say apple key. You can name it whatever you want. The name of it is not really all that important. And next thing is we wanna go ahead and create the shaped recipe. Now, there are two different kinds of recipes as you probably just saw, there is shapeless and shaped. Shaped means that the ingredients have to be laid out in a very specific way in order for the item to be crafted. Shapeless means that as long as those items exist inside of the inventory, it doesn't matter where they are, just the fact that they're inside of the crafting, uh, the crafting bench means that the item will be crafted so then let's just go ahead and say apple recipe Ooh, i can type equals a new shaped recipe and we want to go ahead and say our key and then oops sorry we didn't name a key go ahead and say apple key and then we want our item being apple now next thing is we have to define what we want the shape to be so we'll go ahead and say apple recipe and shape now how this works is it works in three sections of strings. And in these strings, you set the items. So three characters, each character represents the, in, the crafting table, right? So there's three characters in each row, each column, blah, 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 blah. A space bar will represent nothing, or a space bar, a space will represent nothing, and then whatever you want the items to be. So we're just gonna go ahead and use water bucket and let's just say a tree sapling. Yeah, that sounds good, a tree sapling. So we'll say a water. So we'll say nothing, water, nothing. And actually let's just do nothing, nothing in this first one. And then this one will do nothing, water, nothing. And then the bottom will do nothing, tree, nothing. Now you can use any character you want. Just make sure you're using characters that make sense and that you'll understand later on if you're going to be having a bunch of different uh, recipes. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set the ingredients, right? So we need to use single quotes and we'll say W is going to equal material dot water bucket. And then we'll go ahead and set another recipe or another ingredient, excuse me. And this is going to be single quote T and this is going to be material dot true sapling. And we'll go ahead and say oak sapling. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that apples spawn from anyways. Cool. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and say bucket dot add recipe and we will just go ahead and say apple recipe. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. And I'm using Maven, I'm using the Minecraft for IntelliJ or the Minecraft dev thing. Uh, so if you're not using that, uh, definitely helps a lot, speeds things up and definitely makes it quicker to get your plugins up and running. Cool. So let me go ahead and copy this over to our server. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch scenes and as black and, and where's Minecraft? There's Minecraft. So I try, I'm trying this new thing where I'm overlaying the console right onto the screen. So if that's something you guys like, let me know. If not, uh, I will just go ahead and change it. But I think it's nice to be able to see the console at all times there without having other windows showing up. All right, so let's join our server. Let's go ahead and reload. Cool. Let's go over to our crafting table. 
And let's get rid of these apples. Now we'll keep the diamonds, we'll keep the water bucket. We are going to be needing that. And let's just go ahead and say oak. Let's grab an oak sapling. And now let's go ahead and create this item. So you can see here that that gives us an apple. But if we switch these around, that doesn't work. Or if we try to do them up here, it doesn't work. So you want to just make sure that it is right here, exactly how you put it. And now we have our item. And this changes from a water bucket to a bucket, which is cool. So now we have an apple. Not really the most efficient way to make an apple, but just nonetheless a cool way to make a custom item. So there is one more kind of recipe, which is a shapeless recipe. So let's go ahead and create a new item stack. We'll call this uh, G apple because we're going to go ahead and make a golden apple. So we'll say item stack and it's going to be a material dot golden. Hmm, come on, golden apple. And same thing, we need to go ahead and create a namespace key. Not namespace, namespace key. And this is going to be G apple key. And this is going to equal a new namespace key. This for our plugin, and we will just say G apple underscore key. And next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and say shapeless recipe. And we'll just go ahead and say G apple recipe equals a new shapeless recipe. And this is going to be our G apple key and our G apple item. Cool. Now for this one, it is slightly different. You're not going to set the ingredient. You're just going to go ahead and add an ingredient because you're not actually setting the location of the ingredient because it doesn't matter where it lives. So let's just go ahead and say G apple recipe dot add ingredient. And let's just go ahead and say material dot apple. Let's duplicate that. And let's go ahead and say diamond. Now, if you do it this way, like this, it's only gonna require one apple and one diamond to create your item. So if you wanna go ahead and say, no, we want it to be more expensive. We want it to be three apples and three diamonds, right? And now we're gonna need six items altogether. And then let's go ahead and add this item to our server. So we'll go ahead and say G apple recipe, awesome. Let's go ahead and install that again. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Minecraft. Great, and let's go ahead and reload. And let's go over to our crafting table. So remember, we needed six apples and six diamonds. So you can see here that this doesn't work like this, right? We need them actually laid out uh, like this. It doesn't have to be like this. Remember, I did shapeless, so these can be arranged any way we want to, and it will provide us with a golden apple. And again, that is not the most efficient way to create a golden apple. I'm pretty sure you can just do it with gold bars and an apple. But if you were making a server where maybe you wanted to change it up a little bit and make certain things harder than other things, then that would be what you want to do. So that is all I got for you guys today. That was a crazy good landing. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.